what I wanted to show you guys, oh, isn't that gross? Is anybody, like, grossed out there? So that's happening. That's happening in the carpet. That's happening in the couch. Those are the uh, flea larvae or the flea maggots feeding and moving around and stuff like that. And then, oh, my gosh, I'm going to rip out all my carpet and get hardwoods. No, no, it, they, they will get in the cracks of the hardwoods. They will absolutely do that. So this is the jar of fleas. I don't know if you can see all of these guys moving around. But what happened was we just rattled that jar a second. We gave them a stimulus, and that's what they're doing. They're just going nuts in there. And so that's, that's uh, how the fleas uh, acquire their host. This is how a tick's going to acquire their host. So grabbing with those three sets of legs, but they're using their howler's organ at the end of their first set of legs, and they're trying to detect where's my next host. Where's the deer? Where's the person? Where's the dog? I'll even take a cat at this point. You know, just I just need a host. That's what that tick is thinking right there. So that's that's um, how the tick acquires. So much different. So this is a video that I uh, I actually did this on my iPhone, and it's got a slow mo, and you can slow this down. This is you know really really slow down. But look how active these fleas are. Look at if there wasn't a lid on there, they would jump right out of the jar. They can jump. You know, 70 times their height. So they're absolutely incredible creatures. But again, don't mistake my admiration for them, for their biology, for I don't want to kill them because I'm a veterinarian. I, want, I do want to actually kill them. So.